Ale. Okay, next tutorial. This tutorial is another fun, silly tutorial. I mean, a lot of them are, but this one is especially funny. <laughs> um, it's actually meant to be a creeper from the Minecraft game. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not one of the ones that I've been requested lots and lots. I mean, I've had a few requested here and there. Um, the first person who actually requested it was Ben Cusick. Have I pronounced your name right? Sorry if I don't. I'll pop your name there. So thank you for requesting it. I thank you for being the first person. Um, I want to say another shout out to my good, good friend Dan, who actually um, got me into the Minecraft series. Never wanted to play it before in my life, and he got me playing it, and now I am addicted to the game. So yeah. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I love creepers, they're hilarious. Obviously they're more square, aren't they? But I have a round head, so yeah. Um, as I'm sure you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my take on a creeper. I hope you guys like it, I hope it's effective. But yeah, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So to start off with, I'm going to block out my eyebrows. I'm going to apply a plain latex bald cap. Um, I won't show you guys how I apply my bald cap or block out my eyebrows in this video because it will go on for a very long time otherwise. So I'll pop links here and here as I usually do to tutorials I've done in the past to teach you guys how to do that. So yeah, so I'm going to do all that and get back to you. Okie dokie, there we are. So I've applied my ball cap, blocked out my eyebrows. I've gone over the edge of my ball cap with some liquid latex. I have also gone over my eyebrows as well, just... Why not? If I'm going to do the edge, I might as well go over these and make them extra blocked out. You don't have to do that. <laughs> um, I've also, I've, as you can see, I've covered my ears as well with my bald cap. So I'm not cut around them. Yeah, because creepers don't have ears, do they? So yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Snazaroo Clown White. It doesn't really matter what you use. I mean, the lighter colour, the better. But I'm going to use a Snazaroo Clown White and an angle brush. And I'm just going to start tracing on the grid shape that I want. Because this has got to be obviously very pixelated. And I want each block to be relatively similar size, don't I? So... Uh, obviously I'm not going to measure it because that would be crazy, but yeah, so I'm just going to draw out a grid going across all the way along and I'll do my neck and my body last, so for now, yeah, so I'm just going to map it on going really lightly so I know where to colour in later. Okay, so it doesn't matter how neat it is, um, I look, I feel very much like Pinhead right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the kind of grid method you're going for, anyway. Um, I, I based this off of the mouth, because the creeper, from what I can see from the reference pictures, is four by three uh, on the mouth. So it's going to be these four here are going to be black, then darker, then uh, lighter, then lighter, and then dark and dark, if that makes sense. So it's this whole area here, and then I can, from that I can judge how big each square needs to go off of that. Yeah, so I'll do the ball cap on my neck and that afterwards, so for now I can start colouring in all these. So I'll start with the easiest one first. I'm gonna, I'm, all of the watercolours I'm using here are by Snazaroo, because uh, I love Snazaroo. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the black watercolour, black on its own, and I'm just going to do, I think it's these four here, I'm going to be coloured in black. I'm not going to do the nose in black, I'm going to do that in like a dark green, and then fade it out, because I don't want there to be too many of the same colour next to each other aside from the black. Then I can just take a Snazaroo dark uh, grass green, rather, so the darkest green that I've got by Snazaroo, and I'm going to colour in the areas around it just to make that sad face that the creep seems to have. There we are, so then it's just a case of going crazy, really. I'm going to use, whoops, several different colours. I've got about five different shades of green, all snazzy different watercolours. And I'm just going to go crazy, really, and just dot it all the way around. Just as long as you remember not to have two of the same colours touching, go mad. Just think very camouflage -y. Okie dokie, so, so far that's the gist of what I've got going on, I'll neaten it up as I'm going along, but yeah, you can see what I mean, so there's no direct pattern, the darker squares aren't meant to really be shading aside from the sad face and 
the dark square here where the eyes are and the dark green on the outside. Yeah, so from a distance. Yeah, hopefully that comes across. <laughs> so yeah, so, and there's my phone, sorry. So now it's just a case of, this is going to take a long time, but I'm going to continue this pattern out here and on my chest. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Okie dokie, so that's my head done. <laughs> Obviously you'd need to get someone to help you do the back of your head. I'm just going to do from here and here onwards for now, just for the camera. Uh, yeah, so now it's time to do my chest. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to do the squares on my chest a little bit bigger, or well, quite a bit bigger, <laughs> just to save some time up. Um, it should still be quite effective, but I think I'm not the best at body painting myself. I mean, others, yeah, but doing yourself is a lot, e lot harder. So, yeah, I'm going to make them probably two, maybe three times bigger. Right, so this, I know it looks really messy for now, I'm going to try and neaten it up, I'm not the best at body painting myself as I keep saying, but now just to cheat again, I'm going to take some black watercolour and just paint around here, just to give a better silhouette, because I'm not going to be able to get further back here with my own, with my hand, because I'm right handed and doing it with my left hand on my right side is just impossible for me, so I'm going to paint that with some black uh, watercolour and I'm going to use some black hairspray just to spray along the outline, just to fade it in and, I don't know, make it look like it's coming out of the shadows maybe. So yeah, that's pretty much what I meant. Sorry I didn't do it on camera, I had to spray in the bathroom because of better ventilation. Sometimes I'm in the other room, so there's ventilation. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it's kind of like it's creeping out the shadows. This bit is a bit darker, because I only just painted it, so it's going to dry and hopefully fade in. Yeah, so the last thing I'm going to do, I think, is just going to do some stuff on the eyes. I am going to wear some black Scalera lenses, because you don't have to, because you can just have your eyes closed. Um, but I like having looks where my eyes can be open, so when they're black, it will hopefully tie in with this little black square here. Um, I am going to also uh, line the water line uh, the, of both my eyes. I'm going to use a uh, Collection 2000 eyeliner gel in black just underneath the bottom of my eyes so they're safe for the waterline just to tie in them with the sclera lenses. And I should mention with that um, Collection 2000 gel I've not gone in the tear ducts of my eyes because that's where the square stops because otherwise it would look a bit weird if the line carries on going. <laughs> So there we are, so now it's time for the Sclera lenses. Now these Scleras are called Sabretooth and they're from eyesbright.com. I've been using them quite a lot in my last few videos that I've done, the last 10, 20 videos that I've done because they're awesome. I love Sclera lenses. <laughs> um, you don't have to wear them, as I said before, but yeah. Um, I will say again, I, I, and I'll keep saying it in all my videos, I apologise for the crudeness of my body painting. I, Yeah, body painting myself, it, it's so hard. Get your friends to help you do it. <laughs> So there we are, so with the lenses in, that's how it looks complete. Obviously you'd do your arms, or you'd probably wear a morph suit if you can get one. You probably can get a morph suit where you can have it with the pixels on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's my creeper look. Super fun to do. Um, thank you guys so much for requesting it. It's not one of the one. it's one of the looks that I wouldn't have thought of doing myself if you guys hadn't suggested it, so thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye.